the start of a new day at the Niaru Mentang Orangutan Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. Established in 1999, with just a handful of orphans, this project is now the largest primate rescue center in the world. Caring for nearly 700 orangutans and counting. This inspirational project is the vision of a former flight attendant from Denmark, who is now one of the world's most respected experts on orangutan conservation. Lona Drosher Nielsen. It was just a little bit by accident it all happened, really. I came to Indonesia on a holiday and sort of like got caught by the, the, the forest here and the orangutans and everything else really sort of like caught me off, off balance a little bit. I sort of fell in love with it and I hadn't really been in love for a long time, <laughs> so it felt really good. But I never really, in my wildest dream, never imagined it was going to get this big. Lona's plan teaches the orphans survival skills as they progress through a unique forest school system, eventually graduating to free living in a protected sanctuary, just like Chacha, Saturnus, Chen Chen, Jordan, and all their classmates on Orangutan Island. But Lona's ultimate vision is that one day, each orangutan rescued by her project will be returned to a true wilderness, if there's enough forest left. <laughs> At the moment, it's, it is difficult to find proper release sites because the forest is disappearing so fast. I mean, I still have hope, otherwise there wouldn't be any reason to do what we're doing. Breakfast is a time for Lona to catch up with her toddlers. <laughs> You're being a little bit lazy today, are you? Hmm? This is three-year-old Ruby. Can I take me? Can I take me? A year ago, Ruby's mom was slaughtered by poachers right before her eyes. Now she's top of her forest school class. She's still very, very independent in the forest and still very, um, very active in the trees. She fears absolutely nothing. But Lona's special moment is interrupted. Hello. We're in Tumbangkulin. Another orangutan is in trouble and needs to be rescued now. Within minutes, Lona is on the road. After hundreds of rescues, Lona knows the life of a young orangutan is at stake. It's a five-hour journey through the heart of Borneo, the third largest island in the world famous for its dense, lush rainforest. But only minutes into the trip, Lona sees thousand-year-old forest giving way to mile after mile of cleared land. Every day, a Manhattan-sized area of orangutan habitat is completely obliterated to make way for palm tree plantations. When the, the big palm oil plantations, they come in, and cut down all the forest here, all the habitat of the orangutan disappears at the same time. Hello, Hardy. Hello. Lona rendezvous with her colleague Hardy, who investigates reports of orangutans being held illegally. So where, where's the orangutan now? It's not here? Uh, no, orangutan located uh, in the uh, hunter's house. Uh, I mean, so the hunters are employed by the plantations to hunt the end, uh, pest animals, yeah. including orangutans. Hardy leads Lona to the hunter's house at the edge of the plantation. There's no sign of the hunter. But Lona follows the cries. Inside the cage is a two-year-old female. With hundreds of rescues between them, the team knows how to handle wild orangutans. 
The frightened toddler has no way of knowing that these humans are here to help. It looks uncomfortable, but Lona uses the safest way for both the orangutan and the team. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter finally arrives. He says the toddler was wandering alone on the plantation. His son has been taking care of her for the last three weeks. But Lona is suspicious of his story. It's illegal to keep orangutans in Indonesia, but for poor villagers, baby orangutans can fetch high prices from wealthy city dwellers on the black market. This time, the hunter cooperates and is not charged with any crime. But his son is heartbroken at losing his new pet. Lona explains that orangutans are meant to be free, but she tells him that he can come and visit until the day the orphan is returned to the wild. Well, she's definitely lucky. Um, she's also, I mean, she's lucky in many ways that we managed to get her, but she's also not that lucky. She lost her mother, hasn't she? With a storm threatening, there's a long night of travel ahead. This rescue is just the beginning of a new life for the young orphan.